As a new father, portable gaming has become an important way for me to enjoy my hobby, but still be able to be present and available for my family. MSI have introduced the brand new MSI Claw. It's, it's a device that is portable, it's focused on gaming, and it allows you to play PC games, desktop PC games, wherever you are. Look how thin it is. Now I know there are a lot of these kinds of devices on the market, but there's a lot of things that MSI have done to set themselves apart. The MSI Claw is basically an entire gaming PC somehow smashed into this controller, right? This form factor. As you can see, I'm a big PC gamer, so being able to take mobile gaming seriously when it comes to PC gaming, that makes me very excited. It's running Windows, so you're able to access any PC game that you've bought via a Windows service, whether that's Steam or uh, Ubisoft or, or Epic Games. Navigating Windows on a tiny screen, so like this is a seven inch screen, would probably drive me absolutely mad if it was the only way that you could in interact with this. Although I must say that it is better than I expected. I think Windows have done, Microsoft have done some really good work on uh, their touch interface. I was pretty stoked though to see that there is this gaming menu that's brought up by pressing the shortcut button over here. Uh, and you can then access these games pretty easily in a very console-like way straight up from your device. So it kind of like streamlines, you know, your claw into a gaming device. I mean, if the analog sticks and the game controller design wasn't the thing that was going to take you there. In fact, you can add games here if you'd like, um, just by scanning your system, or you can manually add games if you, if you can't find them. This gives your PC games a very console-like experience which to some people sounds like a swear word, but yes, there are really good benefits to having console-like experiences if you're into gaming, but you can't sit in front of a computer. And there are lots of situations where that comes up. Like I said, I'm a father. Being able to be around my family is important. So let's jump into the MSI Claw specs and see if it can handle your gaming needs, okay? I know it's looking after me, but is it gonna look after you? The MSI Claw boasts the latest Intel Core Ultra 7 processor 155H, designed for both processing power and efficiency, something that you need when you're just rolling off a battery. This processor, combined with Intel's first integrated neural processing unit, or NPU, promises smooth gameplay and potentially aids in battery life through AI acceleration. Paired with a stunning, and, I'm, and I must say, I'm really impressed with this, the seven inch full HD, like 1920 by 1080 display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. The closure offers sharp visuals and a buttery smooth experience, crucial for like fast paced games or, you know, games that just require you to, you know, just have that extra PC like experience. I think that's the big thing that separates console games uh, from PC games. I think a lot of console gamers are pretty satisfied with 60 FPS, even though the new generation consoles can do 120. But PC gamers, like myself and probably you watching this, really do favor having that 120 hertz. It's that extra layer of quality that you just need when it comes to performance gameplay. And look, it's arguably my favorite feature. I especially loved playing Tony Hawk on this thing. You know, the remastered Tony Hawk. It's a far superior experience than I've ever had playing on older PlayStation consoles. And I mean, you might think that that's like a given, it's not. I didn't like the remastered uh, Tony Hawk on some of the newer consoles because there's a lot of latency between the controller, then HDMI, HDMI has a little bit of latency in it. Uh, compared to the muscle memory that I developed playing Tony Hawk with a wired controller on a, a video and audio in cable that you would get with a PlayStation, the original PlayStation, but there's like zero latency. So I had built a lot of muscle memory. And of course there's zero latency here. This is the screen built in with the controller. There's nothing, there's nothing wireless here unless you're connecting to the internet and playing wirelessly. The Claw packs in a 53 watt hour battery aiming to keep you going through some extended gaming sessions. Thermal throttling is a constant concern when you're using or when you're designing handheld devices, but MSI employs their Cooler Boost Hyperflow technology to keep things cool. They've been perfecting this technology for many, many years, and you'll see it a lot in MSI gaming notebooks, for instance, and they've taken that, that technology and put it in here. In fact, you'll see there's uh, fans that, that are, pro I think they're sucking air in through the back, and then hot air is ejected out the top of the device so that it doesn't interfere with your grip while you're playing. Can you see? 
and it's relatively quiet yeah i have to like i don't know how they got it this quiet to be honest i want to try a few things with this guy but aren't gaming but yes this is this is for gamers and i'm very impressed with the audio as well it gets really loud just listen to this i think that's because the speakers are also like you know on the front of the device over here so when you're holding it your hands don't cover the speakers they're very well spaced and um they've got a, a lot of like ai audio features that i'm going to talk about in a bit so stay tuned for that but this um that is such a smart inclusion it's very well thought through i mean unless you've got like ginormous hands but what really makes this such a great contender in the mobile gaming space is msi's brilliant game launcher that i spoke about a little bit earlier it's called the msi center m and i guess that's short for msi center mobile because msi center is on desktop machines and it's msi's take on streamlining the access to the games that you have on your system and the settings that you're going to need to make them work and play to their full potential. From the home screen of the MSI Center M, you can access your entire full game library. And if your game doesn't appear here, you can let MSI Center M scan your system for titles to add, or you can manually add applications here for quick access. At the top of the screen, you'll see a quick access to just about every popular game launcher that, you know, that you're gonna need to play. It's like Epic Games, EA, Blizzard, uh, Steam, you name it, it's over there. You can sign into the ones that you have, and then you're gonna have immediate access to the games that you own, your entire catalog. So the benefits are if you've got Games Pass, it's just, you can play Forza on this thing. There's just so many, at 120 hertz, there's just so many cool uh, use cases for it. At the bottom of the screen, you've got these uh, quick settings to useful features like MSI's user scenario, uh, this one over here. This allows you to customize your clause performance to save on battery or simply put the accelerator down. Just put it put it on the floor to see how, how fast this beast can deliver. Like how much performance can you get out of it? Also, you can plug it in. And I think the, 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 pl the USB-C power plug is in a really nice place to play because you could just have it dangling I was sitting on the couch last night, actually, and I was just having it dangle out that way. The cable, d dirty mines. You can also hot swap between gamepad mode to desktop mode, depending on which games you're playing and if they've got gamepad uh, compatibility or if you want to use a mouse or if you're operating Windows, it's all up to you. You can even customize the quick settings themselves for pretty awesome features like screen recording or taking a screenshot if you want to make gaming content with it. This is something that I didn't even think of when I had this, you know, this device. I didn't think of this as potentially a content creation device, but there you go. If you are a gamer, this is something you can do. Of course, it's got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings. It's got Wi-Fi 7, by the way, just to keep you future-proofed. And with the Bluetooth, you can connect a mouse and keyboard if you really want to and play on the 7-inch screen. Imagine StarCraft or Dota or League of Legends on a 7-inch screen. But thankfully, you can also project to a second display. So theoretically, there's a use case for converting this into a desktop gaming rig that can be taken out on the road with you if you want to, like a Switch for, you know, PC games. I haven't tried that. It's it's a nice, it's, it's, it's in theory, it's nice. It's got an upgradable uh, memory card storage slot over here if you want to upgrade the hard drive on it. This unit that I've got has got 16 gigs of RAM and half a terabyte of storage. So there's enough storage in here. It's a beast. I mean, I got 16 gigs of RAM on my desktop PC, so bonkers. And then there are even more settings, including AI engine, which can automatically tweak audio and performance settings and even lighting on the device, <laughs> as you can see. We'll get to that a little bit now. And that's all based on usage context. The idea here is that you're always getting the optimal experience without having to tweak the settings constantly, just removing yourself from the immersion of the game that you're playing just by spending all this time in the menu. You just want to pick up a game and play. That's kind of the joy of this thing. And here's that amazing AI noise cancellation. It's got, it's built in and it's there to improve the communication settings. And what it does is it uses AI to separate gameplay audio and team comms for you. So you get the best audio experience, but also be able to hear what's actually going on inside a game. And of course, what's an MSI device without Mystic Light? I mean, it might be a bit gimmicky for some people out there, but I think it's gonna appeal to uh, a bunch of people. There are these RGB rings, like I said, around the analog sticks that can do whatever you want from them with, uh, you know, anything that Mystic Light does. So classic rainbows or like you can have a classy static. Uh, I really like this classy static um, 
ring around them. How cool is that? That's That should be the, the thing. But anyway, if you want to go full gamer, if you want to have a, a spot color of pink or spot color of, that matches your setup, perfect. And if you don't want any colors, you just think that's a bit too much. I know a lot of people might be turned off by that. Well, guess what? You can turn these off. So you can just literally have them black and it's like a little controller. And guess what? I guess you might save on a little battery at the same time. It's super comfortable to hold and even has paddle buttons here on the back, which I think is really cool. If I was designing this, I might have changed some of the core design language, you know, to make some of the, the grips a little bit bigger and more ergonomic. But because your hands are flat around the sides, reaching in for the analog sticks, I find that myself like grip isn't really a, a huge problem. And I understand why they've done this, right? They want to make sure that this design slides into a bag very easily and not get damaged. There's nothing that's protruding out of here that's gonna get damaged when it's in a uh, inside your bag, you know, um, on your way to a friend's house or if you're on holiday, going on holiday or whatever the case is. I would get a, a, a bag, a protective bag if you could, maybe just for the analog sticks and, and the triggers, but as far as the chassis goes, it's, it's really well built, designed and well built. So in conclusion, the MSI Claw presents a compelling option for gamers that are seeking a powerful and portable PC gaming experience. The combination of a capable processor, Intel have done something really good here, and a decent battery life, and that's all dependent on what the AI does and what kind of games that you're playing, makes it a really strong contender. However, for the most demanding titles that you that are available to play, you might have to do some adjustments to make sure that you get the most out of the device. But again, like you can also play it plugged in. So if you're in a plane with a power supply, you can plug this in and you can play GTA the entire flight. That's a cool idea, actually. If you play multiplayer games, Wi-Fi 7 is great. Just make sure that you've got a Wi-Fi 7 router to, to match up to it so you get the best experience. So can the MSI Claw be your trusty companion uh, for your on-the-go gaming adventures? Well, that depends on your library of games and the kind of games that you expect to play on the road. But I would recommend researching specific game benchmarks uh, for the claw on the games that you want to want to play yourself. Uh, and I think that's really important. Um, I think it's up to you on how you play games. But for me as a dad, this is perfect. Wow, gaming has come a long way, man. If you're interested in picking up the MSI claw, I've got a link in my description. And thanks to MSI for sponsoring this video. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to have had my hands on it. See how it balances. Yeah, it's a very cool device. Very, very cool. Before you go, check out this video. The algorithm says that you're going to dig it. So I, I'm pretty certain you will. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tech content to content to continental. Tech content? Hashtag tech content. Tech content. Yeah, whatever. I'll see you in another video. Cheers.